What is Impressionism art? According to Alison Trang from artsy.net, this movement in art history was brought by an anonymous society of artists, painters along many others, around 1874 in Paris, after which it spread all through Europe. Impressionism art was shunned by big artist institutions because to them it looked like an unfinished work. Um, something that an amateur person or painter can actually create. Impressionism turned away from detail and leaner perspective. Um, painters loosen up their brushwork and they actually started lining up their palettes so they used more pure intense colors. Painters concentrated on how they actually saw the world with their own eyes, with all its imperfections. Um, and the reason why is because they this allowed them to view the change of the weather, the light, and Impressionism art captures all of that. It captures that moment um, with all its changes and shifts which is why painters actually started painting outside and they moved from their studios to streets and country sites. So who was Camille Pizarro? Uh, he was a French Impressionism painter. He was born in St. Thomas and he painted throughout his life, of course. And he actually drew during his free time. He also was attracted to political anarchy and he was known and to many considered him the father of impressionism so camille actually liked um painting rural and urban landscapes that his that was his favorite thing to do and he had actually a lot of empathy towards people who worked peasants and laborers um so you can actually see through many of his paintings that he actually incorporates them in his paintings. And according to Wooden from the New Book of Knowledge, they chose to paint ordinary people and scenes that everyone looked at every day, which is what Pizarro did. And this leads us to the first painting we'll be analyzing. According to Joyo Museum's Boulevard Montmartre, a night was painted around 1898 on a canvas with oil paintings. He painted this art piece towards at the end of his life, and it's a great example of typical Impressionism art. Pizarro painted this town scene called Boulevard of Paris at night, and right after rain, uh, this piece was one of many others all the same scene but different times of day. These series of paintings were painted through eight weeks which allowed Pizarro to study the changes of light and darks and the actual weather. Another characteristic that this piece has is the amount of detail, not much, which is what Impressionism artists tried to lean towards when creating these paintings. Pizarro obviously used intense and pure colors, especially on the street lights and the brush strokes, which are visible, creating texture throughout the piece, which makes it easier for the viewers to notice the difference, and even though there was no extreme detail, you still get the feeling of being there, looking at the street lights, reflecting on the wet floor, and the actual lights shining bright, beautiful piece. According to the Met Museum, the Harvest Pontois was painted by Camille Pizarro during 1881 oil on canvas. I have mentioned that Pizarro had a huge interest on workers and everyday things. This painting shows that exactly. The scene is on a field outside where these figures slash humans are gathering potatoes. Here we can see the techniques and characteristics that an impressionism art has. The brushwork, the light palette, the lights and darks, in contrast to the previous piece, this was painted on daylight, so the painting is brighter. It also has very beautiful texture, which is very typical for an Impressionism art piece. 
Encyclopedia Britannica Inc. states that Impressionism left traditional landscape palettes with muddy colors and more brown-based colors for a lighter and sunnier palette. Although this art movement lasted for only a short time, it accomplished a lot of advances and provided another point of view towards painting. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed it.